Hi, my name's Emma P. I'm your expert in getting shit done, best-selling author, coach, and mum. Today we're talking about filters and how we filter things into our brain and how it copes. Now, believe it or not, we can only focus on between five and seven pieces of information at any one time. Now, have a think about it. There are millions of things happening right now. You're listening to this, you're hearing my voice, you may have a rumble in your tummy, you may be writing a note, you may hear the breeze outside, you may feel the seat underneath your bottom, you could hear the kids in the background screaming, you could smell the cooking being made. So have a think about all those things that are happening right now and your brain cannot physically comprehend them all. There are, I think it's about 2.3 billion things going on any right moment. In fact, you probably didn't even feel the little toe in your sock or on your shoe until I mentioned it, right? So, we can only think of between five and seven things at any one time. Now, how do we get to those five to seven things? It's called a filter, right? Based upon the beliefs that we spoke about in the last video, you actually focus on the things that you believe in or have evidence of. So, let me give you an example. If you saw a, a small car crash between a white car and a red car, and uh, there were six witnesses. How many witness? How many witness reports do you, are you going to have? You're actually going to have about eight, right? Because everyone believes something different because they have a different perspective because they have a different belief from when they grew up or that they they built yesterday, right? Some people may say the red car went too fast because they have a belief that red cars go faster. Some people might say, well, what about the bike? And some people will say, well, I didn't even know there was a bike. So because we're all amazing human beings and we all have these differing beliefs because we're all built up in not exactly the same way but we, our brains take in information at different ways this is how we filter now if you've ever noticed when you've driven home and you thought to yourself well, how the hell did i get home did i go through a red light i don't remember because i was going over that argument in my head about what happened the other day well your body actually goes into your brain rather it goes into a self preservation mode and will actually get you home safely but what happens is those five to seven things actually decrease to maybe two because it's preserving what's needed to to get you through so when you're highly emotive and that could be happy or it could be sad you actually can focus only on a few things and that's why you've had those arguments or you've had those conversations with people or you've seen a movie and they go Remember when that happened and you didn't notice it because you were perhaps thinking of something else or you were focused on another area of the screen or you've had that conversation they said, you remember when I said this or I told you the X, Y and Z and you don't remember any of it? It's quite possible because you were focusing on something else which leads me to focus. What you focus on, you will get. So if you ever bought a new car or a new item of jewellery or a handbag or something and then everyone suddenly has that handbag or everyone has that car because your focus has shifted. It was always there. I remember when I was pregnant, everyone around me was pregnant, right? The, they were always pregnant. It's just that my focus shifted. So I want you to have a think about what are you focusing on? Therefore, what are those five to seven things that you're focusing on? And what are you really deleting? What are you deleting outside of there? We call it deleting, generalizing and distorting because they don't necessarily fit in with our beliefs or we don't necessarily have enough room in our brain. And that's okay, because this is normal. And look, I'm not going to get into the argument of men multitasking, because <laughs> that's a whole other video. All right, check out the next video on how stress affects our brains. It is your time. It is your life. If you need that extra hand, please feel free to personal message me on Facebook. You will get a reply directly from me, and we can have a chat on there as well.